All right, so we are going to assume that we hear noises and we are here with our MDR having to fight like three enemy players. Okay, let's go. We're just gonna peek out and then one down, another one down and there's one more, one more. Six kills, seven kills. Oh my God. As you can see, Ice Stream was correct. This weapon is just simply insane. I found this. I think this is super nice. It has a 2x scope and laser and 60 max. So let's go for that. Let's put some T4 max into it. I don't really trust in helmets. It feels like no matter what I wear, I keep dying if I get a headshot. And this retro steel helmet actually looks pretty cool with my new sunglasses. I always have the feeling that if I'm playing with a the laser, then it's easier to spot me. I'm not sure what you think about that. But uh, I usually don't play with the laser. Good, good. Uh, usually what I do when I do it, I pick up the, the junk. Uh, well, not the junk, but everything that is at least 1k. In case I don't need it, I just replace it with something else. Somebody's here. Not good, not good. Really not good. That's a real player and we have a bot in front of us. It's gonna come in now. Come on, bot, don't shoot me. Maybe he's still hiding there, checking the area. And I'm gonna get myself killed now. We need to head to the villa, no good loot here on port. And guys, when you start a map, when you start a game, always have a plan. Don't just randomly run around on the map, okay? It just doesn't make sense. The reason why I don't really play Valley is because there are so many open areas and uh, so many angles to be shot from. If you have bots, that's promising. I mean promising in a way where most likely nobody is here yet. Nasty bots. Okay, good, good stuff, good stuff. A ring. And first we're gonna check the safes, then we're gonna secure the area, and if nobody is around, we're gonna check for the like the secondary loots. This safe is unlooted, which means we are really lucky. So nobody was here. Oh my god, what a bad loot. And I'm absolutely sure that we don't have any players here at the moment. But this is why I run like you see me running. You need to be aware of what's happening on the map. Two footsteps. Running simultaneously means like, oh my gosh, because bots usually don't run in pairs. Not cool. These guys are not talking. Come on. Come on. Again, just bots. But actually the, the, the ice was, was, was right. The recoil is pretty decent. Winter coat, okay. I wouldn't think that you would ever need a winter coat at this location. You know, I really gotta say that the map seems to be dead. And it can anytime happen that the player pops up and I'm just gonna be shot. But hopefully it's gonna be us finding somebody who is not a bot. Oh, and by the way, in case you are a beginner and this is one of your first arena breakout videos, some miracle happened and by accident you found me then don't waste ammunition on bots okay never like always tap always just one shot maybe two bullets but don't spray them you're gonna run out of ammunition and by the time you need ammunition you're not gonna have any so we're gonna run to the rv camp and then I think we're not gonna check the factory anymore. We're just gonna extract extraction point three. There's somebody here actually. Oh my god! Oh my god! So many footsteps, so many bots. We're just gonna head into the other direction. The bots stream is through the bushes, through the trees, and everything. Oh my god! They're coming for me. They're coming for me. Oh my. Okay, and it seems like that my aim is terrible today. Usually these places are full with people. I'm not sure what's happening now. You have a safe in this um, this car, by the way. And fingers crossed, I want to have a red item or something. 
<laughs> Don't make me cry. There's one more safe we can check in the cafeteria. Do you call it like that? Cafeteria? But let's quickly check. Grenade case is also something is worth checking. Grenades are always useful. Mmm, good stuff. And uh, ammunition. I'm not always checking the ammunition cases, but it's actually worth checking them because if you find... Oh my goodness. What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Fox, what, what? What? Is my teammate like throwing the grenades or what? I didn't see any footsteps. Did you guys? So before I saw that grenade, I wanted to say that usually I'm not checking the ammo cases, but it's actually worth checking them because if you find T4 or T5 ammunition, those are, you know, worth a fortune. It's definitely worth picking them up. No good loot. No players, no loot, nothing. Red item, please. Give me a red. <laughs> actually, when I tested ice stream zoomies, uh, in that game, I also only uh, face bots. I didn't meet any players. I usually don't play this weapon, MDR. Maybe because of its color. I don't know. So if you want to have something that is accurate, not having too much recoil, then this is definitely a good pick. Let's see the distance. Okay, yeah, pretty cool. I, I gotta say, it's pretty cool. Even though I have to say that I think that weapon is kind of not the primary factor in the game you rather want to go with nice and uh, decent bullets and uh, if you go with good bullets and play correctly then it doesn't really matter if you are picking up an mdr or ak or something it's just as good as any other assault rifle it's not the gun it's not actually the gun it's gonna be the way you play it's gonna be the ammunition it's gonna be whether you are cautious enough for this amount of price like for 50k 60k it's a decent weapon but anyways let me know in the comments section if this is a gun you play you prefer or would you eventually pick this gun over an m4 because we have that bundle guys you know the the one you can pick up weekly where you can actually decide whether you want a full m4 or mdr and i i would be interested to hear if this is something you like because let's face it it's not the most popular weapon in the game sometimes you can find it but usually it's not the default choice for players definitely stick around if you want to see more arena breakout content because there's always going to be more more and something new so subscribe if you haven't already throw me a like support me and as always happy gaming see you in the next one bye